guys and welcome back to my channel where today I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair with a straightener. I know you've probably seen this a million times before but um, I just learned how to do it and I think I and I want to show you. So let's, let's go do it. Woo! Okay so the first thing you want to do is obviously get a straightener which I have. I have the Pro Beauty, Pro Beauty Tool, so I'm guessing this is by Pro. Um, I just got this at Target. Um, I don't know how expensive, expensive it was, but yeah. So obviously you want to turn it on, and I like to go up because my hair's so thick. I do, I like to increase the heat because sometimes if I don't, then it won't stick. But yeah, I'll do that. Um, and then you gotta let it sit for until it warms up enough. And while you're doing that, you want to get your hairbrush and just brush out your hair. Okay, and then if you have heat if you have heat protectant, I advise you to use it because if you like straighten or use heat on your hair, um, this will prevent it from like breaking and looking really ugly. Okay, so just take that. What I do is I spray it in my hand and then run it through my hair. And then take the hairbrush and through again. My straightener is done. So what you want to do is you want to section off your hair. So what I mean, I had a hair tie and I don't know where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay. So you want what you want to do is you take it from your eyes and you just do this. That's how you section it off. And this is what I like to do. And then I have the hugest, hugest forehead ever, so don't judge. And then you want to just clip it away or put it in a small bun on top or something. Sometimes I use hair ties. I like bobby pins because it's easier to get out afterwards. But yeah, there's a little bun on top. And then you take the hair that you already have. And yeah. Now, take your straightener, the cord stuck, hold on. What you want to do is take your straightener, and there's a really big mirror right here, so I'm probably going to be looking this way, but what you have to do is you take a small section, I'd start from the back, my hair is really frizzy, so take a small section from your hair, what you want to do is I like to straighten from the roots first, just a little bit, so it's flat when it's done. And then you take this, and you turn it, and you pull the hair directly in the opposite direction. And then you just pull, and don't mind the heat, that's just the heat protectant um, burning off. <laughs> Sounds bad, but yeah. And then you just pull it, and keep pulling till the end, and then and then I like twisting it at the end. But there you go, there's your little curl. I'll show you again. I am not a good explainer. And my phone's going off like crazy because I'm in a group chat and it's annoying me. Okay. And I throw it over my shoulder so it doesn't get in the way of the rest. So you take a small chunk. I like to straighten the roots, you don't have to, it just to to be sensitive about hair breaking and what, but my hair's already gross, so honestly, I don't care. And then you take it and you twist it away from your head, and then take the stuff that you don't want, and it's okay if it looks a little ratty, and if it gets stuck, you just like wiggle it, but, and then you keep pulling, and go slow so um, the hair gets enough heat where it will actually curl. 
and then I like to twist it. Sometimes I twist it in the wrong direction. This part didn't get any. And it's okay if parts, some parts don't get any, like, like don't get curled or something. You just go back and do it again. And it, if you're just starting, it will take some practice. Um, it took me a while to, this won't curl, like, what the heck? Okay, hold on. Um, but like I said, um, when you first start, it is a little hard, like, there we go. It is a little hard, um, but if you keep practicing, you'll eventually get it. So I'll keep doing this. And to, I'll keep I'll keep doing this side until I get to here, and I'll show you what I do over here. Okay, so I have this side done. Alrighty, so now you want to move over to this side. And oh my gosh, I have hair all wrapped around this. Okay. So what you want to do is, like we did on the other side, you take a small chunk out of the back. And I straighten at the roots first. I know straightening curling, but whatever. I straighten it there and then what you want to do is you um, turn it this way because you want to turn it away from your face and then twist it oh gosh and pull this hair so it's around the straightener and it's directly op opposite of the yeah you kind of get what I'm saying and then you pull it got your curl. Boop. Toss it. <laughs> okay, I'll just show you again. Just take a small section. And then you twist your hand so it's under like this. And then I actually, I pull really hard on my hair. Um, so you don't have to, but I do. You don't have to clamp it down as hard as I do. Take your finger and twist. And there's another curl. Okay, let me do the rest and then I'll show you what to do after that. So now what I like to do uh, before I do the rest of my hair is I like to hairspray what I just did because my hair it typically likes to fall out a lot so let me go get some hairspray because I forgot that and I'll be right back. Okay so I have hairspray now and what I use is Tresemme so I use this. Um, it works really well. I like to overspray just because, ooh, it's all sticky. Um, anyway, well, I like to overspray, but, so I take the curls, I just did, and I just, <coughs> Don't inhale it, just don't. And sometimes the curls that you did will, might fall out again, and you can redo that if you want, which I'm going to actually. Okay, and then Oh, got my eye, got my eye Help, help, send help Oh, oh, oh I think I'm okay oh. oh, and please don't mind my messy room 
just, just don't judge. Okay, now, yeah, so I hairsprayed that, and that should dry. Oh, it's sticking to me. Okay, so what you want to do is you take the hair that's in the bun up here, and you take the bobby pin or hair tie or whatever, and what you want to do is just take it and separate it. So take it and separate it so it's in the front. And then what you want to do is about halfway up your forehead, you go like do this again. Oh, it's going everywhere. Hold on. And then take it and do it into a little bun again. It's a fancy bun. You like it? Okay, so what I like to do because it's been in a bun, I just brush it out a little bit. And if you're doing it for like, if you're holding the straightener there for a long time um, and you want tighter curls, that's how you can get tighter curls. But if, and if they are tight, they will fall out during the day just a little bit. So yeah, that's okay. So. Like you do over here, take a small chunk, just the same thing that we've been doing. So I'm going to do the rest of my hair and we'll, and yeah. Who's texting me? You know what it is? I bet it's a bunch of school drama that I... Ugh, that I... So graciously entered into this morning. Also, um, if you like curls away from your face, um, this, that's the same way you want to um, rotate the straightener. So if you want um, curls, if you like curls towards your face, you rotate your straightener towards your face. If you like them away, you just do it. Uh, rotate it away. I can't talk. keeps getting wrapped up. For some reason the camera just stopped recording, but we just finished the second layer and now we're going to do the last, maybe not the last, the third layer. So like we did before, just take the hair out of the small bun. What is up in here? And then, because my bangs get in the way, I just take those separately and pin those back. Oh, what trying to on me. Okay. And then brush out brush it out. What is going on right here? Okay. And 
and then just do what we have been doing before. I almost just grabbed on to the hot plates. I almost directly just spray hairspray into my eye. I'm so awesome. I'm not a good hairspray if you can't tell. Okay. My last little chunk of hair, the bangs are always crucial. You never, well they're in the front of your, so your bangs are in the front of your face, so you never know like what they're, how they're gonna look, what they're gonna look like. I just have hair. Okay! So, this is what all the curls are going to look like. with them you can do whatever you want with them um you can pin like if you want you can like pin your bangs back or whatever so you kind of have a that look you could put them in a ponytail that looks cute um just play around and do what you want to do with them um i hope you guys like my tutorial if you want more just leave um comments in the comments section down below and please comment, and if you haven't done already, please subscribe, I really would love the support. Um, I hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye!